Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we looked more into the uh, supposed ghost of Gekukan High and found it was uh, Fuka Yamagishi who was stuck inside Tartarus for, well in the real world, the span of, you know, a little, uh, little over a week and a half. I think it was around 10 days. Um, but, you know, time in Tartarus works differently. So... Could have been 10 hours, it could have been 10 days, it could have been 10 months, for all we know. Uh, it was 10 months. But it was an uh, unspecified amount of time. So we rescued her, and she awakened to her persona, which is basically uh, one of those... Uh, it's the one that Mitsuru kind of does, where it like, analyzes enemies and shit. But it does a better job, because as the group has pointed out, Mitsuru's persona is more focused towards combat, not as much in analysis. Um, but Fuka's is pretty much all analysis, which is good. It helped us with the last boss fight. Um, which, all this happened on a full moon, and we did fight a twofer of a boss, the Emperor and the Empress. And, no. We also uh, worked on uh, Kenji's... Uh, social link, I think we only have one more rank to go. And we also worked a little bit on Maiko, where apparently her dad hit her, and she came up with a plan to run away. And we just are going along with it, apparently. So, let's continue onward. Um, okay, so we are Friday. Friday is Courage Day. Let's go raise our rank. Actually, we're not going to do that. Uh, we also went to the Wakatsu uh, restaurant last time and found out for about 680 yen, you can get your academics, like, um, raise your stats double. Uh, yeah. Uh, for only 600 AD, where, like, the arcade would do the same thing, but for, like, what, three, four times the money? Uh, let's see what can be done here. Yeah, get smarter. Seafood full course. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe this one will raise it by three. Let's see. Let's try it out. Table. They know me as a regular customer. I wonder if that's due to my charm. Hey, look at that. I'll try the seafood full course. Oh, it's a secret menu. Every bite fills my mouth with flavor and my brain with omega 3s. Mm mm mm. Double. Hey, even at 900, it's a fucking bargain. Oh? I'm guessing it's a mysterious boy that's come to visit us, yeah. You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before about everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers change quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Um, yeah, sure. What's your name? I mean, it's better to be a friend to this kind of person than an enemy, you know what I mean? Someone who's pretty much knows seems uh, seems to know what's going to happen name oh i see i need a name my name is pharaohs i know we'll get along great I can feel the beginnings of a bond with the mysterious boy pharaohs look at that he is also a social link Oh, is that the death card? I, uh, thou, thou shalt, shalt have, have our blessing. 
Yeah, the Death Arcana. Look at that. Well, it's getting late. So, I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. Just begs the question, what's going on with that kid? What's his deal? We'll find out in due time. Good morning. Good morning. Yamagishi will be living in the dorm with us starting today. And from this point on, she'll be providing us with support in Tartarus at night. That means I can start joining in battles again. Uh, that's reassuring. Yes. Yes, you can depend on me. Even if I'm a bit slow starting out, rest assured that I'll catch up to you all in no time. You're all here. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Sadly, probably true. Alright, looks like we've heard from everyone here. Promise, healthy brain food, sale today. Unknown sender request. Greed is such a terrible sin, alas I cannot help but want. Now the number of requests I have for you has increased. I'll be incredibly pleased should you spare the time to fulfill them. Sincerely yours forevermore, Elizabeth. Aw, isn't that sweet? Uh, okay. Is Kenji here? No. It's Chihiro. What's going on here? Oh, right, it's, uh... What's her name? I'm getting hungry. Should we stop somewhere and grab a bite to eat? Ooh, let's get some of the Octopia's Takoyaki. It's at the Iwato Dai Strip Mall, so we'll have to take the monorail. Uh, let's talk to Elizabeth first. Let's see what uh, side quest she's got for us. Nice. I'm looking forward to. Are you accepting a request? Wow, there's a lot. Okay. I want to look fashionable, so bring a fashionable item. Bring the item as Elizabeth is asking for. A triangular sword. Onimaru Kunitsuna. So it's a weapon. Level 23 or above. I won't insist you do anything. Conduct a total of 20. But it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 Persona Fusions. Bring the old document 3. Some potent medicine. Gifted a bouquet of flowers. I think we have the rose bouquet. And then these ones we already have. So, okay, let's accept oh, all of yes. them. I believe you can find a place, something in a place where people often gather to mingle. Wait, what did you say before? I'll be looking By forward all to means. it. Oh, I can't check. Uh, <laughs> be changing it up and issuing it as a little quiz. Please bring me a triangular sword. Your hint, it was originally used for dueling. Like a fencing sword? Like a foil? If you need help uh, figuring it out, perhaps you ought to try asking one of your close friends. So, I'm gonna guess that's Mitsuru, because she, she used to fence. I will await a report of success. I okay. will await a report. Oh, yes! I hear there's a, there exists a research lab called the nurse's office within the learning facility you attend. Experiments ranging from the scientific to the supernatural are conducted there all day and night for the sake of humanity's health. Apparently, aside from the ordinary medicine, potentially lethal ones are also created there. That said, I'd like you to negotiate with the master of the nurse's office and bring me the potent medicine. I will await a report of success. Okay. Oh, yes! Here, there's a custom in your world in which a bouquet of flowers are given to a woman. I, too, would like to receive such a gift. A bouquet of flowers. 
Therefore, I request that you bring me roses of the deepest crimson. They would stand out brilliantly, brilliantly in our ultramarine-colored world. She'll be awaiting for the loveliest bouquet of roses for me. By all means. Okay. So these two have uh, deadlines. Uh, no. Very well. Then. So fashionable item. When is this open? July twenty second. So soon. Uh, let's check out the thing here. The uh. sale. Yeah, We're yeah. having one big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Uh, Stores age 50 HP to all party members. Hundreds of party members. You know, there are a few home remedies that do work. You got everything you need? Come again. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. What are you saying? Let's see, start the game, insert one coin. Control it using the two buttons and... What are you looking at? I'm not just reading the directions, I'm carefully planning my moves. Jack Frost stall. Uh, play until you win, I guess. First try, baby. That's how I do. Uh, so what does it do? I guess it's a gift you can give someone. Might please someone, yeah. What are you groveling about? Times have changed, but some things like schools having ghost stories never do. I used to sneak into the school grounds at night. Teachers would give me holy hell for it. Good to know. Okay, so um, what was the other thing I wanted to do? Ah, eh, whatever. Let's just go. Uh, let's go talk to Maiko. Yeah. Uh oh. Mom and Dad Day. Yeah. Oh, Maiko. I can't take it anymore. Mom and Dad just keep fighting. I begged them to stop fighting so much, but they told me to leave them alone. <laughs> I made up my mind. I have to run away from home. Uh, calm down. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to be a brat. But I made up my mind, and I'm gonna run away. I better start packing soon. Hey. What should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? Uh, it'll take more than that. They have insurance cards? you thought either way I'm gonna give it a try don't worry I'll be just fine okay I'm gonna miss playing with you though Michael seems fond of me I feel like we're growing closer when I run
run away. Mom and Dad will have to work together to find me. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. By the way, even though I've played the games and I know the general stories, like the side, uh, like the social links, I don't remember how they end. So I don't even know where this is going. I don't remember. Um, there's only one. Are you in there? There's only one uh, social link, which I know how it ends. Um, but beyond that, I don't remember how any of these end. So it's kind of new for me, too. Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. It's a cool way of looking at it. I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on, I think Akutsuki-san's gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you. Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. Oh. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Fearji. Fearji? Fearji means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions, and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Is it dangerous? Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. I'm sure you'll get a chance to see it in action as you continue your battles. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. 
With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. Sounds good. How does that sound? Uh, looking forward to it. Man, this trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up. I'm going to be all like, take this, Super Ace Junpei attack. Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right. We'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. <laughs> Look at us all decked out. Before we continue, this is entirely new. We never, I don't recall ever getting stuff like this before. Like this theurgy shit, uh, the new, uh, the new look, the new armors and shit. I don't know about armor, but the, the new, uh, uniforms, um, completely new. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. I like how it looks on Mitsuru. I like how it looks on Junpei. I like how it looks on us. I'm the main character. Um, also... For those of you who are wondering where we get these wonderful toys, um, it'll be addressed later on. It will, they will actually go deeper into it. I, I think it's been mentioned before, uh, Mitsuru's dad uh, actually is in charge of uh, creating stuff like this, like battling the shadows. That's why she's very, uh, she's like kind of a higher priority uh, not a higher priority. She's higher up in the hierarchy when it comes to like the the rest of the students because her dad is basically in charge of shit. Um, but yeah, well, again, uh, I think closer to like halfway through the story, uh, we'll actually um, meet the dad and like see their whole operation and all that stuff. Just something to look forward to. Come on, could you at least wear it like you're supposed to? Oh. But it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. And we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Mm, 
What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? So how do you use it? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Uh, gotta keep our ace in reserve. Oh, really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay, got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. <sighs> it seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right. Let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. Yeah, I was about to. Like, it's great that we got new stuff, but I don't know how, um, how much better it is based on what we already had. Oh, okay. So we'll equip this. I mean, it's just a little bit better, but the accuracy is better for sure. Although it would get rage, rid of the rage effect. You know what? That's okay. Uh, so we'd be giving up three accuracy for an extra four damage. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Oh, he's not even in our party anyway. And the Seize Rapier. Okay. So, I have the Pixel Vest. Bulletproof. Uh, we'll give it to him. Any high boots. Uh, I don't know how much... Um, I mean, there's no point uh, 
equipping Fuka with anything. Just she's never going to be in battle. And see nails. Um, but let's do. I guess we'll do endurance. Endurance five. And we'll give him the strength one. I guess. She has anything Good to do to add right now. Here are my requests. No. Nope. nope. Very well. Alright, we're gonna take a Spooka. Uh. Yes. Can't go with you, but I'll do my best to back you up from here. Alright. Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes! I'm here! Are you picking up any shadows? Um... It looks like there's one close by. Be careful! Alright. Let's head over there and feel things out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've felt this kind of tension. Mm. Think you can keep up after all this time? Honestly. Believe me, I have no intention of falling behind. You're approaching a shadow. Get ready for battle. Roger that. I'm always ready. Leader, are you ready? Then let's I'm, go. I'm always ready. We've caught them back to tide. we got the upper hand. Um. It's a strong one. Be on your guard. I'm ready. What does she have? She has Bufu. Let's try my Bufu. Yes. I'm far more in my element here. Let me show you that I haven't lost my touch. Two left. Nice. Now, now's it's your tough. chance. Damn, nice. Executed. Perfect coordination. Kneel before me. I love it. Looks like everything went well. Buka, you were amazing. Great job. Thank you, Yukari chan. Still send some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. Yeah, might as well. Ooh, a blue one. Nothing up there. Oh shit! No! Should be just ahead. Ah! Fuck! I should have ran. Oh well, it's okay. I'll start preparing the analysis. It's poisoned. Rage of has been poisoned. Can someone fix it? Shall I move to strike? Um, 
How? Why can I not switch? I thought I could uh, like? switch with um. Go for what's his name? With someone else. One target remaining. <clears throat> Whatever. Two enemies defeated our friends. Let's That's keep a this win for the team. Up. Good job, everyone. No shovel time. By Come the on. Way. Well, the combat uniform seems to be working out. But what about that theurgy thing? Yamagishi, have you figured anything out on your end? Um... I'm sorry, it's still unclear. I'm picking something up during battle, though. I see. There's no pressure. Just continue your observation. Oh, hello. Why would they give you just, like, here's the newest technology with a vague, uh, fucking booklet on, like, how to, how this shit works? Definitely missed stuff back there. I'm not gonna Let's keep using Mitsuru. The enemy's weak to ice. Let's freeze them solid. Nice one, Sonata Senpai. You're up. There we go. That's what I wanted earlier. Coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Let's head to the stairs that lead up. Shadow? No, it's. It feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger. Let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. Will do. Huh? Oh, we got separated again. Everybody, just stay calm. 
It looks like you were all sent to different locations on this floor. So they separated us by force. There's danger lurking in this darkness. We need to regroup as soon as possible. Yamagishi, can you guide us? Wow, it is pretty dark in her area. Uh, why now? This kind of reminds me of Subnautica a little bit, where it's like darkness all around. It's just the bioluminescence that's like lighting up the, the immediate area. Fuka, where should I go if I want to? <gasps> you hurry, oh. Chun! Look out! That's huh? not good. <gasps> no! <laughs> Cut away right before. <laughs> Go, go, go! Later, you're here! What the fuck is that? Not again! Everyone's always protecting me! I'm getting hurt because of it! What am I even doing? Yukari chan! Fuka, I need you to back me up. I'll hold this thing off until everyone else gets here. Take this! Head on! Nice work. Wait, is this? Yukari chan, load the cartridge into your evoker! I know. Now's the time. When emotions run high in battle, you or your party members will be able to activate Theurgy. Theurgy can be activated on your turn when your Theurgy gauge is at max. Unlike normal skills, they do not cost HP or SP. Press RT to activate your Theurgy. Please note that it cannot be used while you are inflicted by status ailment. Cyclone error. Devere, deals severe wind damage to one foe. Ignores resistances. Personality. After healing someone, her desire to prevent death strengthens. That's interesting. All right, let's do it. All right, here I go. And with this, you're finished. Nice work. Are you okay? I'm fantastic. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Good to see you're okay. Thanks, but you shouldn't be so reckless. Takeba, later! Looks like you both are okay. Sorry I worried everyone. It's alright. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. You did great for your first time. I agree. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukatan! How'd you do it? How'd you see it? How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. And while I was thinking that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Right. Although, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Uh, I don't 
don't really get it. But basically, if we're fired up enough, we can really pop off, right? And thanks to you, Yukari-chan, we have a good idea of how it works. From now on, I should be able to tell when someone can use theirs. It's all thanks to Yukari. I didn't do much. I just got lucky. I don't know much more than anyone else. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. Everyone has different feelings when they're fighting, so the timing on when they can use these will probably be different, too. I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? We'll deal with it. Yes. If something has changed in the tower, we'll need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kirijo-senpai! Quit buttering me up. Just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon-to-be MVP. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything today. No, Yukari, sometimes you just shut up a little. Guy's fired up. Just let him be happy. All allies can now use theurgy. Beautiful. I would hope so. Yay, no school today. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I'll check it out next time I go to Tartarus. I got a text message. Hey, you free? Since we got the day off, hit me up if you want to go somewhere. I'll be free till the afternoon. Uh, not now. Let's uh, do the channel first. So Father's Day, what better way to show your father how much you appreciate him than a heartfelt gift? Good, good. First up, we have the brand watch. Your father won't be able to contain himself when he sees this. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this mega protein too. Guess how many? Two. All this for just 3,980 yen. Um... Nah, I'm okay. Thanks, kid. kid. Bye bye. Thanks, kid. Um, for my um, sure. Let's me with Tomo Chica. Hey, about last time, I looked like a complete idiot, huh? So, um, you know. Hey. Can you just forget that ever happened? Forget what happened. Whoa! Oh, nothing. If you don't remember, then don't worry about it. End of conversation. So Machika seems relieved. I learned a little more about him today. <laughs> Man, talking so much is giving me an appetite again. Maybe I've gotten back to my usual groove. Anyways, you should eat some more, too. That, look, that does look good. Two of us hung out for a while before I decided to go back to the dorm. Um. 
Once again, I'll be substituting for Kirijo Senpai as your navigator from now on. Please let me know if you want to go to Tartarus. Um, I'll do my best. I know you will. Um. Can I help you? Uh, let's talk. Hi. Living in a dorm is kind of exciting, isn't it? Settling in a new room with all my old stuff is a nice change of pace. I'm struggling a bit uh, trying to rearrange things, though. But honestly, I'm just glad I get to live here with all of you. Aww. That reminds me. Yamagishi Kun is surprisingly skilled with technology. And she's very kind, always considering others' feelings. Her name suits her. Her name suits her perfectly. Fu means wind, and Ka means flower. Like a flower, gently blowing in the. Um, I'm getting off track there. Sure. Let me think. I'm sure you're already feeling it, but the enemies are steadily growing more powerful. Don't be satisfied with how you are now. Work on improving your strength. If you wait until after, uh, tough, until after a tough battle, it'll be too late. Hmm? What is it? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. You're looking for a triangular sword? Is that uh, supposed to be a riddle? I'm not sure what you mean. Hmm. Triangular object is for dueling. By any chance, are you talking about a fencing epi? It's not a triangular sword, no, but the cross section does resemble a triangle. Let me retrieve mine for you. Cool. Here you go. Do you plan on taking up fencing? If so, I could teach you a thing or two once I have some spare time. In that case. Hmm, Mr. Okoda's punishment? Well, there are some things in life you don't want to know about. This is one of them. Okay. Junbei! So, uh... Dude, I almost got in trouble with the police today. I was damn lucky it was just a false alarm. By the way... I guess all that talk about Fuka being sick wasn't true. At first people were saying that she was absent because she was being bullied. But then they started saying she was really sick. Yeah. Strange, huh? She seems pretty healthy to me. I mean, yeah. I think today I can put 0616. Two more days. I bet you Jumpy's gonna eat it again. So it's on TV. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 17, The Precess's Revival. It's bad times when the feed returns. On today's news, Okay. Polonia, what's going on there? Anything in here? Uh, Soul Fortune. I want to know my fortune, I guess. Is it going to cost me? So, rarity, increased chance of encountering rare enemies. Chances of turning enemies into strong or rare enemies. Increase the rates in which 30 gauges charge. Huh. Cool. Does have not something new to say? Heard a bunch of stuff is happening out there. How about it? Is anything happening out there with you? Yeah. Go oh, cool. Well, not here. Beautiful. You need something. By the way, I just got in a pair of designer glasses in stock. Not only are they hip, they even work with more feminine style. Well, if you can spare $150,000, 150,000 yen that is. Although, if you bring me a black quartz, I may be able to adjust the price. It's an extremely rare collector's item, you see. Anyway, it's up to you how much you're willing to give up for these glasses. Black quartz. I wonder if it's some kind of gemstone. Time to think of it. Shadows and Tartars drop gems sometimes. Elizabeth might know something we about it. We got some fine goods here. Go on and have a look at our products. Bye. Platinum brooch. Yeah. More experience. Yeah. Why? Let's 
Let's see what Elizabeth has to say. First, we we'll give her the, Is that the fencing sword. Oh, black quartz can be found in the second block of Tartarus, Arca. Heard the lustful snake that appears in the latter half of the block is quite fond of collecting them. <laughs> the material that captivates both shadows and humans. How remarkably peculiar. Do you need anything else? Are you yeah. accepting a request? Wonderful. Since you completed a request. Bingo, that is indeed what I requested. A fencing epi. If I may say so. As I mentioned before, an epi is used to duel in ancient times. Fencers would wear white uniforms so that the blood from struck blows would be more visible. I have a request. And now a special quiz just for you. Do you know why my clothes are blue? Uh, because it's soothing. <laughs> I will ask my master for the correct answer. Please take this as your reward. Okay. Bring me a protein not for pros. Of course. Uh, this time I'd like to bring me some protein. But not just any protein. I'd like one that even amateurs would be able to consume. Would you try looking for something like that? If such a thing even exists, of course. I will await a report of success. Um, I'm guessing that's something Akihiko would have. Very well, then. Um, let's see what's going on here. Oh, let's see, um, if there's anything new at the, that net cafe. Nope. Uh, I guess we can eat here. Yeah, we'll do that. Art of the seafood, full course. I can sense Omega 3's rushing into my brain. I feel like I can solve any problem now. Very nice, very nice. Morning. Morning. I guess it's true uh, that there have been fewer cases of apathy syndrome after our missions. But then again, that changes as we get closer to the next full moon. By the way, what do you think of Kirijo Senpai? What do you mean? That's... Don't you think she sort of pushed Fuka into joining too quickly? Oh my god. Yukari, get over it. Seriously. Fucking get over it. I know it's nice to have more Persona users around, especially in battle, but something just doesn't feel right. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Our language can be awfully complex. Don't you hate when you know the meaning of a word, but you can't remember the word itself? This feels like a good time for a spontaneous question. Of course. Let's see, Junpei shifting in a seat a little bit too much. So instead... Listen. How about you? Which phrase means able to see things for what they really are? Uh... Inai. Yep, exactly. That's correct. You may very well have a keen eye yourself. Having a keen eye means you're able to see things for what they really are. It can also help you make good decisions for your future. That goes for the rest of you too. You need to learn how to look past the surface. Otherwise, you'll grow up to be superficial. I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect. My charm went up just, just a little, teensy little bit. Class has ended. Hey. Are you psyched now that Fuku joined the team? Definitely. Right? Right? Yeah, man, I'm totally stoked. <sighs> I'm glad there won't be a full moon for a while, but still, can't help thinking about it. What's up, guys? You doing alright today? Oh, I'm sorry, am I blocking your view? 
Oh, sorry. Really sorry about that. Um, let's go to the station real quick. I haven't checked up on that cat yet. I again, I don't know if it. Oh, whoops. Wrong place. Port Island Station. That's where I'm. At. Oh, there's something there too. Hello, sir. You go down the side street, you'll come to a spot where gangs gather. They always leave garbage behind and spray graffiti all over the all over the walls. And every time, I'm the one who has to clean it up. I'm gonna catch those gangs someday and make them clean it up themselves. You do that, sir. Good luck. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Reflesia. Take your time looking around. What kind of flowers you're looking for today? Oh my god, I completely forgot about these. About the potatoes in the roof. We'll have to check it out later. Um, I guess I do not have a rose bouquet, so I'll need to get one for... Um, what's her name? For Elizabeth. We still have two of these, right? Yeah. Come again. Meow? Meow. Heard some shit went down here. A guy's against the Geku morons. That wasn't you, was it? Nah. You don't look like you could piss those guys off that bad. You're right, it wasn't me. But man... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Why would some Geku candy asses come here? Students should stay at home and do their homework or whatever. Or whatever, indeed. Hi. Guys, they have a new burger. Um, something for you. Got something for you today. Consider restitution for you and the others for working diligently every day. All right, let's do it. Let's go check it out. By the way, those girls from your school who those girls from your school who had the apathy syndrome seem to have regained their senses. I'm guessing you're all out of hand in that too. Now then, is there anything you need? I mean, you told me to come here. What'd you bring? Uh, might as well just sell everything. Wanna sell in bulk? All right, I'll take that. What'll it be? I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Hmm. All done here? Yeah. We come back soon. Didn't really have anything I wanted. All right. Let's go speak with Maiko. I don't think our bond will grow. Yeah, might as well. Hello. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Next time we can. Hey, what do you want to do? I want to go home. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Thank you. Um. Let's talk. As you may know, my persona is called Lucia. Since I specialize in detecting enemies and processing information, my job is to provide everyone support. So, while I can't confront enemies directly like you do, I'm, I'll still do whatever I can to help out the team. Alright. I suppose. My weapon of choice is a thrusting sword. It was once used to settle duels in Europe. Its power and accuracy may be average, but it's a reliable weapon with no particular downsides. <laughs> I personally do not like to gamble with the effectiveness of my weapon, so it's ideal for me. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Uh, yep, specific item. You want some protein? Come and start bodybuilding, eh? Hmm. Hey, I'm proud of you. I can give you something meant for beginners. Thanks, yeah. man. It's called Amateur Protein. Specially formulated for people like you. 
What do you mean people like me? Nice. Fuka will be supporting us. <sighs> she has the voice of an angel. Don't get me wrong, Kirijo Senpai is a nice voice too. It's just that Fuka is just so calm and soothing. Mm -hmm. Hey, so. Kirijo Senpai was doing support, and now she'd be fighting with us. Most of us can only do one or the other, but she can do both. She really can do anything, huh? Wow, jealous much? This week's forecast is sun all the way. There's only a 10 to 20% chance of rain. But be careful of dehydration. Even during the rainy season, it's going to be a scorcher. Now back to the studio. Next on Action News, all the action in the world of sports. So it's Monday, today is Charm Day. Or, or, we can work. Which is what I think I will do. After I talk to Elizabeth. Good day. Uh, sorry, I should have been reading that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, it looks like she's going to start asking us to visit uh, different areas of the world. First, I'd like you to guide me through Polonial Mall. Forward to it. If you have the time, then please come fetch me so long as the sun is out. Yeah. As you complete more requests, Elizabeth will start asking you to escort her to different places from time to time. You can accompany her on these outings anytime during daylight hours. Going out with Elizabeth will take no time at all, so you don't need to worry about planning your day around her. Yeah, so that's that's good. Here are my requests. Uh, okay. So first off, we'll do this one. Results. This must be the brand of protein specially designed for amateur athletes. Amateur protein? How can it be for both amateurs and pros? Is that true? Ah, the word protein doesn't have anything to do with professionals. How very interesting. Thank you very much. I'm sure this must be quite valuable, so may, you may have it back. Please take this as your reward. A spiked bat. Wonderful. And a bouquet of flowers. Oh my, is this the bouquet of roses I asked you for? Have my thanks. They're gorgeous. Thank you for this lovely gift, truly. I've heard that in the language of flowers, the meaning of bouquet depends on how many stalks there are. <laughs> so this bouquet means... <laughs> I'll look more into the matter later. Please take this as your reward. Female Winter Guard. I want nine Jack Frost dolls. Oh. I don't know where I got nine. I think 19. I want Jack Frost dolls. Jack Frost dolls. Do you see anything achievable? So, not one, but three of them. To think of okay. One for me to love, one to display, and one to promote his adorableness. By all means. Okay. Uh, no. Very well then. So I'm not going to do that now, just because I don't want to waste any more money or anything. Yeah, let's spend the night and work part time. Cleaned up efficiently and received compliments from other staff members. Nice. Found an infamous bug and got rid of it before customers noticed. It's my paycheck. 3,000. Well, there you are. Good timing. There's something I have to tell you. From now on, you no longer need my permission to go to Tartarus. Why? Well... Because Yamagishi can provide support. If she's present, you won't need my help. But I did tell her not to let you go if I'm not available, or Akihiko for that matter. I'm just worried something unexpected may happen, so please keep that in mind. 
One more thing. Could you set aside some time tonight? It won't take too long. All right. See you then. I'll see you later. All right. Is Kenji here? Yes, he is. Should be able to do just one more with him, and that'll be it. Got nothing to do today. If you're not busy, let's get some ramen. Uh, yes. All right. I'm gonna get a extra large special bowl today, and hmm, should I also order a rice bowl? Another day, another bowl of ramen. Indeed. Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor of uh, flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. Really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <sighs> Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Maybe she did. You know what else? My favorite show had its finale, and I didn't even notice. My mind was really on one track for a while, huh? Kind of funny in a weird way. We chatted for a while. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. You got this. Yeah, dude, and you can be my wingman. Let's go pick up some chicks. Ah, no, 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 no. I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. Hmm. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. That's right. We're great friends. And why do I say such embarrassing things? God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. A handmade cho Why are you- Why is one dude giving another dude a choker? I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, nah, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. Thanks. Tomochika told me I'm his best friend. I feel a strong bond with Tomochika. I am thou. Thou art I. I am the thou. The thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power. Of the magician arcana have been set free. We now bestow upon thee the yeah. ultimate form of the magician within thyself. All right, and that's the magician done. Can now fuse Futsunushi, the warrior god. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten. Damn, that's a lot of eggs. Watch out for your cholesterol, dude. How much you can I spend hours hanging out? Welcome back. With that, we have all the second years present. So, what exactly are we all here for? Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm, but I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. Uh, sure, sounds good. Uh, you've kind of been living here all this time. I think we get the picture by now. 
If any one of us needs it, it's you. You do realize if you screw around and break something, you'll get us all in trouble, right? Oh, come on, I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. <laughs> you'll make a great assistant then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Oh? Wait, new stuff? Sweet! So what, are we gonna get like, hot springs? Or maybe a casino? Right? You are so stupid. We'll just have to see now, won't we? Okay, this is also With new. That, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh, looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Do you all cook your own meals? Uh... I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... I'm gonna think of it. I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? I'd like to try it. If you care about eating a balanced diet, there's no better way than to cook it yourself. <laughs> but it's not as cheap as they make it out to be. It's hard to use everything up before it goes bad. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess, but I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. If I invite someone to, someone to cook, we could use this kitchen to make something. Moving right along, then. Interesting. Here's where we all hang. This is the lounge. Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Oh, that's mine. I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. You don't mind keeping it here? If I took it to my room, I'd be watching alone on my laptop. I hoped you all might make better use of it. And besides, I like the colors more when I watch on a CRT. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Uh, wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. Um, Yukari-chan? You're kind of scaring me. I'd probably watch a DVD here with someone. That wraps up the first floor. Let's move up to the next. This is all new territory, by the way. None of this was in the original. Oh, by the way, Kirijo Senpai, are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. This area is pretty sweet, nice and quiet, and let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. All you read is manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. I think I'd be able to focus and read a book here. Please, utilize it however you'd like. 
any piece of literature is a means of broadening one's horizons. Aye, aye, Captain! Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Aye, aye. Jeez. Keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. Bookshelf is right there, just put it back. We'd been keeping the rooftop off limits, but recently decided to open it up. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. Wow! I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? Oh and boy, fruits. I can hear him now. Eat your veggies, peas. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk plastered on his face. I hear you're the one taking care of it. Looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. The chairman was right to put you in charge. Uh, are you okay doing this all on your own? You're in charge now. Uh, I could use some help. Why don't you help him out, Junpei? It's not like you've got anything better to do. Yeah, I definitely saw that one coming. But I guess it does look kind of fun. Maybe all the vitamins from the veggies will make my skin all a silky smooth. <laughs> that would be a sight to see. The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. I might be a bit interested as well. Having someone help me with the garden might affect the end result. That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. All right. And that concludes the tour. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? No, you got everything down. Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but welcome to the dorm. Thank you. That was nice. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to be harvested by now. If I should go check on them. Uh, what are you happy about? Oh. One of the girls in my class let me borrow a DVD of the show she's been watching. I was thinking about watching it in my room, but it might be better to watch it out here since the TV's bigger. And now you'll have some time to spend with your party members. Doing so might lead to some interesting revelations. Sometimes these discoveries can be helpful in battle, so don't be shy about approaching your teammates. Watching this TVD with Yukari might help improve my charm. What's up? Do you want to watch with me? Uh, maybe later. Um... Gotcha. Talk to me if you change your mind. Oh my god, everyone wants to do something. Let me think. I'm sure you're already feeling it, but the enemies are steadily growing more powerful. Yeah, yeah, we already talked about this. Uh, okay, let me put the food in here first, because it's the 16th. Uh, lukewarm taiyaki. Chill it. Come back tomorrow or later. Yes. Just the time to spare. Now the kitchen's been cleaned up, I was considering putting it to use. I happen to have some, some quality tea leaves from the company heads. I'd be happy to serve you a cup. Uh, should I spend time? What do you say? Uh, no thank you. I see. Very well. Um... Can I help you? Uh, what are you doing? Um... Is it alright if I help tend to the rooftop planters too? I've actually been interested in gardening for a while. If you don't mind, I could I join you? While you can garden alone, raising vegetables with the help of your friends will result in a more plentiful harvest. Veggies raised with help from others will take on different effects depending on who you're gardening with. 
The quality of the produce might improve if we tend to the rooftop planters together. No. So, um, is it okay to help out? Um, sure. That'd be great. I'm sure it's going to spend some time, but... should harvest those first. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. No. The produce can be harvested. Paracuja. Uh, don't plant. Um, let's check out the books real quick. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Man, looks like they only got educational manga. I was hoping for some shonen stuff. Oh well, at least I solved that one I borrowed from what's his name. Want to give it a read too? It's this baseball manga that finished up a while back. Reading the baseball manga with Junpei could help improve my courage. Uh, I'll pass. Y you think so? Suit yourself. This series is supposed to be tight as hell, though. Just saying. Looks like I... Oh, maybe I can. There are computer magazines placed among the technical books. So I do have to read with someone. Um... Man, decisions, decisions. Ideally, I think... I'd watch the DVD, but I do want to plant. What did that even do? The, um... What I got. Raises one ally's attack for three turns. You know what? Sure. Let's... Let's do it. Um, you know. That'd be great. I don't think I've planted anything in the rooftop planters yet. Um, what did the tomato sprout do? Fuck, it didn't say. Oh, it raises uh, HP back. It gives HP back, I guess. Let's do. Let's do this one. Uh -huh. <sighs> so this is what it's like growing plants. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? You really, you seem really into this. Oh, um, yes. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff. But I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. Tender the rooftop planters with Fuka. This looks good. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like this will be a big harvest. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm Absolutely. in a better position to help out next time, too. Fuck yeah. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? Did you hear that there's an opening in the art club? Seriously? Really? Did someone transfer schools? But it sounds interesting. I'm tired of going straight home. Maybe it's time to join a club. By the way. Let's go check it out after school then. Seems like there's an opening in the art club. Maybe I can learn more about them if I visit their club room. Ugh, oh, so many social links to take care of, man. I uh, guess we'll get started. All right, let's begin with Palace Aron Azonim Azinomas. Excuse me. We all need to start somewhere. Rome wasn't built in a day. Same goes for magic. You ought to learn its background. Today, I'll teach you about the origin of magic. Long, long ago, at the dawn of civilization, man created primitive religions. 
animism, totemism, and shamanism all fall into this category. You learned these in world history, right? That last one, shamanism, is important to the origins of magic. A shaman would fall into a trance state and act as the intermediary between the worlds. But it counts as magic, where humans can have the power of gods and spirits in their own hands. The shaman-style magical tradition would later be embraced by witches. Take the common European witch as an example. Today people think that witches derive their power from contracts with the devil. But that's just Christian propaganda. The witch's predecessors were more like maidens serving the gods. It was through prayer to those gods that they earned their powers. They learned to control their magic without losing consciousness during their trance states. That's how they originally awoke to the practice. Originally, Europe was full of religions worshipping a slew of various gods. The collective term for them is paganism. Interestingly enough, the celebrations of Christmas and Halloween have pagan backgrounds. That's all very true. Are you all still paying attention? No trans states for now. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you're paying attention. Get it wrong and your afterlife won't be pleasant. Alice Aron Azinomas. Okay then. Now who should I pick? I choose thee, Yuki. What early religious practice was the origin of magic? That was shamanism. Good. Very good. You'll be born in your life, in your next life as a human. So, paganism and Christianity have a closer connection than one might think. As the Roman Empire grew, so did the Christian population within the empire. At first, each religion practiced separately without issue. But, I answer correctly. Everyone in the class looking at me respect, blah blah blah. On to the next challenge. Apparently the art club is pretty new members. I might be able to learn more about them if I visit their club room. I could. I saw a girl at a gothic Lolita get up in front of the station. Man, she was so cute, I had to go up and ask her out. I said, hey, wanna catch a movie or something? But she didn't even move, except for breathing. She didn't even bother looking my way. My ego still hasn't recovered. Sorry to hear that. Oh. By the way. Have you heard that the art club is accepting new members? Come to think of it, wasn't Fuka in the art club? Maybe you should go see if you're... Maybe you should go check it out if you're interested. See how they operate and all that. You know what? Fine. Let's do it. Uh, I believe... Yeah, it's down there. Hello? I'm getting bored of calling people up on my phone. It's fine for trying to kill my boredom, but to be honest, I've run out of stuff to talk about. Coming up with new stuff to talk about is a pain, too. Ugh, this is such a buzzkill. It's the art room. Note says, art club, new members, welcome. Color the world! Join oh, shit. I wanted to join the club. I don't know why I pressed down. I observed the art club. That was a great tour. Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? I've heard a lot about you from Yamigishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, KSK Senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year, Hiroga Senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? Um... Not really, no. I wish I could draw. I really wish I could draw. Like, there are some... 
there's some like piece of art or like even stuff in my mind that I would like want to get on paper, but I fuck up on stick figures, man. Like I'm terrible. Not to worry. You don't have to be a professional artist to join this club. I mean, I'm just a beginner and I'm the club leader. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Let's must get you be. signed up, shall we? Hiraga gave me a warm welcome. I joined the art club and made friends with the members. Uh, that the Fortune Arcana. How fortunate! Uh -huh. Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. Okay. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. So I'm part of three clubs now. The art club, the track club, and the student council club. And we haven't even started any of them. And there's going to be another club that'll be joining later on. I see you're back. Should we head to Tartarus later? We have some time for the next full moon, but the enemies are growing stronger too. That said, I'd like to train with Polyduces even more. It's all about it. <laughs> That's such a funny name, Polyduces. Polyduces! By the way, it seems certain clubs have begun actively recruiting new members. Oh, but you're already in a club, aren't you? Yes. Well, there's no rule against joining multiple clubs. Feel free to join any that pique your interest. Juggling studies, club activities, and shadows won't be easy, but it surely builds character. Yeah, that's for sure. Um. Can I help you? Let's talk. By the way, Junpei Kun said you're playing an online game. Is that true? Yes, it is. Ooh. So you can play with people from all over the world, right? It's great that the internet is able to connect all kinds of people. Maybe I should give it a try. Come to Polonia Mall to see us. We won't be there, though. Phoenix Ranger Feathermen are every Sunday. Don't miss it. On to today's news. Can we watch hey, the DVD so now? No, I can't. She needs to be... Hey. Do you think, you, do you think apathy syndrome can be cured? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe if we defeat a shadow, the spirits at eight will return to their owners. Then again, they might get digested. That's a sad thought. Oh, right. Do you know how to cook? I have to eat enough to make up for what I burned during training, so it ends up being a lot of food. It's easier just to cook it all at once. I'd appreciate your help if you have the time. Um. I see. Sorry about that. Um, there's a dog barking. And it's like, it's early in the morning. It's, okay, I put it inside, it's gone. The chairman? I apologize for eating your taiyaki. I had bought the same kind, but I forgot that I put mine somewhere else. I'll make sure to buy another one for you. In the meantime, please accept this as an apology. Yes, I hope you don't mind my love for Taiyaki. Fishy. Ah? Right? A precious egg. Ah. Oh, there should be like a slamming the door animation. Next, uh, 6.30. Okay. Um... Yeah, you know, let's let's cook some food. I owe you one. Let's get to it. Chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. 
Next, you gotta portion everything out, and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work. Sure work hard. <laughs> Not really. I'm just lazy, so I want to do everything in one go. But if I want to get stronger, I have to do whatever it takes. All right, let's get started. Huh, it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. Iron athlete meal. Take some, he gives me one. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. Yeah, could definitely do that. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. Couldn't have called me after school? Elizabeth wants to tell me something important. Or wants to tell me something. What could be so important? I should go to the Velvet Room after school. Okay, yeah. I'll be going after school. And here are people talking. By the way, the Curio group was on the news yesterday. Something about showing their true colors. Yeah. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. I hear they're involved in a lot of things. Even this school's uh, owned by the Kirijo group, right? I know, right? I wonder why such a com why a company that big decided to build a school. I wonder. Her spell is wrong. I actually didn't know that. That's really interesting to consider, because uh, if you remember what I said earlier, Kirijo, Mitsuru's dad, is responsible for like giving us our gear and you know doing research and all that stuff on the shadows. If they built the school, and Tartarus pops out of the school, are they connected? Only time will tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should have to the bell. Hello. I've been waiting for you. Forgive me for calling you so suddenly, but there's something I must bring to your attention. There seems to be a human presence within Tartarus between floors 48 and 53. It appears to be someone without the potential who heard the voices of the shadows. Sorry, one second, guys. If left alone, I feel they'll become lost and may perish. Very well, then. Please find and rescue them. Due to the influence of shadows, civilians will sometimes get lost in Tartarus and become missing persons. Missing persons will be somewhere in Tartarus and must be rescued within a set time limit. In the event someone goes missing, details will be posted on the bulletin board in front of the police station. So keep an eye peeled. This is new. I don't remember this either. Bulletin board with details about the missing people. Okay. So, sorry, when was the deadline? So seven six. Okay, so we got some time. Um. So she's not there. Uh, Maiko. So Kazushi, Kaisuke, or Chihiro. Uh, let's see if we can talk to, to this guy. 
Looks like I have enough charm to catch his attention. What is it? What do you want? What are you eating? Listen. Oh, you're curious? You fancy yourself a gourmet? Is that even possible? An unrefined guy like you? I think not. You'll have to prove it. Mm, yeah. You can pass my gourmet quiz, then I'll believe you. Hmm, what should I ask? I don't want to make it too difficult. Give me some time to think. Nom nom. Mm. Oh. Oof, what a sandwich. Now the quiz begins. This first question is a freebie. I don't know. What's the most popular drink in the cafe over there? Uh, the pheromone coffee? Huh? Correct. Mm. Yeah. Here's question number two. What color skirt does Azuki Arai's mascot Azuki chan wear? Uh, I don't even know who Azuki Arai is. Red? Huh? You're pretty good. Hey, look at that. Wild guess. Mm, yeah. What item is on the secret menu in Hagakure? The Hagakure bowl? Well done. I'm impressed. I don't know. Seems to have some knowledge about food, but it pales in comparison to mine. Why don't you bring me something I've never eaten before? You'd have to be quite the odd morsel to fit that bill, though. If you succeed, then I'll accept you as a fellow gourmet. Uh, okay. What is that mysterious food? Give it to me. The odd morsel. I don't even remember where I got that. It might have been something from Elizabeth. Mm. Mm. It was mm. awful. But I'm impressed. I haven't tasted something like that in all my life. You're not so bad. It seems like he's taking an interest in me. Should I hang out with him for the day? Uh, sure. We go to the same school, right? One look at your uniform's all I need to know. Um... I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you this right off the bat, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? You're too thin and too cool! If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm gonna end up as the uncool one! There you are. I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Now hand it over. Whoa! Not you! Uh, help! Uh, emergency! Uh, hey, you! Uh, call the fire truck! Uh, I mean the, uh, uh... The police? Yes! Right! Uh, good thinking! Quit making a scene, alright? People are looking at me funny. I've got some business to take care of now, but you... You're no Zomi Suemitsu-kun, aren't you? I did my homework, see? You know I'm not letting you off that easy, right? I suggest you reconsider things. Horrifying! My poor heart! I think it dropped into my coin purse for a minute there. My name is Nozomi Suimitsu. By the way, may I just say that you have a wonderfully big heart for someone so slim? Suimitsu gave me a hearty thanks. I've become acquainted with Nozomi Suimitsu, the gourmet king. Is he the moon? Yeah. Alright, we got another social link. Whew, all that drama made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You wanna tag along, friend? Shall I treat you to the finest dining? If so, you've come to the right place. For I am the king, the gourmet king. That's right. Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. And as the king, I know all the kingliest places for... Uh, 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 my... My tummy! It's in horrible pain! I think it's an emergency! Sorry, but I'll treat you uh, another time. Ugh. Started getting dark, so I went home. Good, good idea. I see you're back. Yeah, good eyes. Yo, 
No matter the battle, proper balance is key to winning. Not just power, mental strength, agility, and some luck too. It's not easy to train up each aspect, but if you keep experiencing what life has to offer, you'll get the training along the way. Wise words. Let's see. While we can't slack on our exploration of Tartarus, if we want to solve its mysteries, it's important to rest and take time for yourself as well. You're free to go out or spend time with the others in the dorm. Just don't stay up too late. Yes, Mom. Next is the news. Ayaku Yoshimito, Yoshimoto, a third year at Gekukan High School, has been reported missing. Police are searching for leads and ask the public for assistance. There's a possibility that she may have wandered into Tartarus. We must go rescue her. Hey, um... I, I kept thinking about how Kirijo senpai dragged Fuka into this. Oh my god! Yukari! Get over it! Seriously! But Fuka seems really determined to do her best, so I guess there's no point dwelling at it. Yes! Yes, go with that. Just, just go with that. So I'll focus on doing my best too. Please do. Jeez, some crow. Oh, whoops. You wanna read? Um. Yes, can I help you? What are you doing? Hi. Do you like to read books? You see, there's this near future sci fi series that was popular a while back. I found it at a used bookstore and bought the whole series, but it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. <laughs> I only started reading it after moving into the dorm, and it's really interesting. Reading sci fi could help with my academics. Hi. Uh, sure. All right. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'll go get them from my room. Do you read a lot of science fiction novels like this? I read them quite a bit. I like sci-fi stories. Oh, wow. I guess it's good that I invited you today, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? Absolutely. Oh, I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? <gasps> wow, you've read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress, too. Was I more focused than usual, or...? Like my academics have improved thanks to the skill for expression in the writing. Aw, oh, just one? Oh, I guess it was free. I used to think reading was only a solo activity. Sorry, what did she say? If you don't mind, do you think we could read here sometime again? Yeah. But now, I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. All right, that's enough for today. Good night. Good night. Oh, hello. Morning. Um, it's a beautiful day, is it not? How are you faring today? Not bad. Um, Th that's wonderful news. Sorry for being so awkward. Never had the chance to chat with someone on the way to school, so I got nervous. But I think I'm getting used to life in the dorm. Plus, I'm pretty excited about everything we can do there. <laughs> Let's send to the plants up on the rooftop again soon. Sure, whenever they're done. I came to the arcade the other day and I saw this guy. He was tossing a ball up in the air and catching it. I wonder what that was about. It didn't look like any kind of toy or prize they offer here. Maybe I should ask him next time I see him. It's closed. No. Uh, okay. Who do I want to talk to? Let's talk to... Yeah, Bebe is another one. 
Fuka. Where is Fuka? There she is. Oh. Are you on your way home? Um. Yeah, let's walk home. I'm sorry. I was about to do some research. I'm actually just learning how to cook, but I'm still experimenting. I don't think I can make anything edible at this point, and I don't want to waste your time. If I volunteer to help, it might, I might regret it. I don't have the courage to risk it. Uh, my courage would need to be badass first. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So... Um... We can talk to Hidetoshi, Kazushi, or Bebe. So Hidetoshi is the uh, the Emperor guy, the one in the uh, Student Council Club. Kazushi was the track meet guy, and Bebe is uh, one we haven't... We met him a couple of times at the, um, uh, at the old couple's bookstore. Uh, he is the last of the, uh, what is it called, um, after school clubs. He's the only member. It's like a fashion club, I think it is. Let's do, let's do Kazushi. Uh, and he's in the classroom. Chariot. Heading to practice? I have the Chimera, so it should be fine. Okay, let's do it. Alright. Today, let's see what you're made of. Don't overdo it, alright? <sighs> My side is killing me. I might have overdone it a bit. Uh. Okay, so if I remember correctly. He needs a little... He likes the competition stuff. Like, he's not aggressively competitive, but he likes the, the morale boosts. Uh, maybe toughen up? Easy for you to say. Yeah, see? But honestly, you're probably onto something. How about you? You okay? You've really been pushing it. You don't even look tired. Uh, what kind of training regimens do you have? Uh, very special routine. I figured as much, as I wouldn't be dying over here. You're pretty crazy. Uh, it kind of sucks. You totally destroyed me. I knew the standards were high around here, but I never thought someone so good would be right in front of me. Okay, I've made up my mind. Listen up, I'm gonna make you eat my dust. It's like Miyamoto sees me as a rival. I feel like we're becoming closer. It's a friendly rival, by the way, not like, not aggressive, not like antagonistic or anything. Kazushi's, a, he, this guy's a bro. He's, so he's a real done. bro. Let's get go. Ah. What's wrong? I think I might have twisted my knee. Forget it. Let's go. Part of ways with Miyamoto went back to the dorm. Tsuko, the team manager. Should I say hello? I think I will. Oh, it's you. What's up? Uh, want to walk home together? Hmm. Okay, sure. Why don't we stop somewhere along the way? Why not? It's tough being a team manager. You really don't get any respect. And the guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you wash this for me? I'm not their mother, you know. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running around taking care of them. Hmm. How about you? Are you enjoying track and field? It's fun. 
Oh yeah? That's good to hear. Thought it might be boring for you, since you're so much better than everyone else. I can tell just by looking. It's like you've got your own style and you don't waste much energy. Well, if you have any questions, just ask Kaz. Um, you know, Kazushi. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you. You can ask me too if you want, since I'm the manager. Yuko seems to be looking out for me. I feel like the two of us have gotten a little closer. Ah, thou shalt have strength arcana. Cool. Oh, I've got to run. There's a show I want to catch. See you at school. After saying goodbye to Yuko, I decided to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. Sup, dude. Sorry, dude. I'm running to the store real quick. Hmm. Got enthusiastic about cooking for myself once, but I bought way too many ingredients. Gonna have leftovers. A lot of leftovers on my hands. Looks like Yukari wants me to cook with her. Should I spend the evening with Yukari? Uh, yeah. I'll help. Thanks. Let's make something tasty. I picked up the ingredients to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? I eat like a pig. Oh, sounds like a healthy appetite. You're in luck because we've got plenty. I hope it tastes all right, but don't get your hopes too high, okay? I haven't been cooking much lately. Well, either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? Made chicken saute with Yukari. Uh, I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. And that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. One chicken saute. I'll make up for it next time. So let's cook together again when you get the chance. It'll be so delicious, you can't help saying yum. Yum. I can hear people talking. Come to think of it. By the way, you know Mitsuru Kirijo, student council president? Archie's is gonna study abroad after high school. Probably to prepare herself to run the Kirijo group in the future. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. It's like she lives in a different world from us plebs. But she's staying in a dorm, right? Why would a rich girl want to live in a dump like that? Hmm. Maybe her family made her? To understand how us ordinary folks live or something. First bill is wrong. Do you have a moment? I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Who knows? It's possible. But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Shake. Hello, puppy. Oh, he did it. What a smart dog. Oh, welcome back. Hey there. What's with the dog? 
He was passing by just a little while ago. Go on, Koro-chan. You know how to say hi, right? Oh, he's a cute puppy. His name's Koromaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. He didn't survive. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. It's a really sad story. Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Huh? Is he... What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan. You little puppy. Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and, well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? So... Ah, <laughs> right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and 8 we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? There you go. Puzzle pieces are falling into place one by one. Those large shadows that only appear on the full moon. I wonder what their purpose is. Eight more remain. We have a long road ahead of us. That we do. Hmm. Everything about Tartarus is such a mystery. How long has it been there? Why did it appear in the first place? Do you think we'll ever know the answers? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, DVD with you? Hey. 
Uh, this compilation of some of the greatest matches between boxing legends. Watching professional techniques like this will surely help us in our own battles. Need more courage. Uh, not now. Let's talk to people first. Hmm. The real question is, do shadows act independently, or are they working together towards some goal? In essence, does a group of uh, shadows target a single human and ravage his mind with purpose? Or is each individual shadow simply devouring human minds for their own survival? This is what we must discern. I'm sorry. I'm thinking right now. If you're looking for someone else, for someone to talk to, please find someone else. Oh, sorry. It's filled with complex looking books. Can't tell what they're about from the titles. I wonder who's reading them. Um. Uh, can I help you? Um. I ran an estimate on the strength of the remaining large shadows that appear during full moves. As you can probably guess, we're going to be in for a long, hard fight. But, I think we can handle it. I'm sure we'll be fine as long as you keep training and growing start stronger in Tartarus. All right. So let's both do our best. Uh, what do you want? Oh. Yeah, what up? You're taking care of the planters up top, right? Mind if I give it a try? Girls aren't a slim dudes, right? Might be good to eat some vegetables after all. Um... Not now. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's watch the boxing stuff. Actually, is there anything to do here first? No. Yeah. Actually. No. Do. Let's just uh, quickly head up. Uh, the strip mall. The computer place. They have to restock at some point. Come on in. Come nope. again. Uh, let's see what's going on here quickly. I'm guessing it's in here. Say. Oh, it's you. Lustful snake on the higher floors of Arca Block has it. We got some. Why? Do you have anything new? Go have a look. Nope. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm a Gekukan student, and remember those rumors that were going around the other day? I hate hearing the rumors like that. How about you? Uh, I hate them too. Yeah, I can't stand hearing those conversations. When I'm here, it's all okay. I don't have to worry about a thing. Good for you. Okay, let's watch some boxing matches with Akihiko. Start watching. Just from looking at a single jab, you can tell how different everything is at the top level. And not only are both fighters strong, they each have their own unique fighting style. What kind of fighter is your favorite? Um, fighter with slick footwork. I get that. The essence of boxing is to land hits without getting hit yourself. I tend to rely on footwork in my matches too. But someday, I'm hoping to master the style of infighting. Now that I'm watching these again, I can see there's a lot to learn from professional matches. Plus, when I do it here, I have someone to discuss things with. Let's do this again next time you're free. Man. Watching those guys fighting is making it hard for me to sit still. You want to head to my room and wail in the punching bag for a bit? <laughs> He's like, yes. Yes, I do.
No school. Yay. It's amazing commodities. I'm going to do it. The diet support set. Hate exercising? Don't want to change your diet? Looking for an easy way to lose weight? Then do we have good news for you. Good, good. First up, we have the amenity suit. Just slip into this and the hourglass body you dream of will be all yours. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this super diet food, too. Guess how many? Three! All this for just 9,800 yen. Sure. Thanks, kid. No problem. Bye -bye. Uh, just Boonkichi, right? Yeah. And yeah. Let's uh, let's do Maya here. Get where we're at. I think we're at like level seven. Yeah. See Maya. I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff. There's nothing like a little endorphins. There's nothing a little endorphins won't cure, right? Right? Ors, so much pain. Actually, I only went because I was so pissed at that bastard. Calm down. You're right, I should just calm down. No, I just can't get it out of my mind. Maya seems upset. Remember that Mr. E guy? The SOB, right? I made a small error on some paperwork and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to be teaching correct grammar, he told me. Shut the fuck up, old man. He thinks he's all that just because he's a classic lit teacher, for fuck's sake. Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard. Eh. <laughs> Mr. E starts playing this game too. I'm putting him on ignore. You can't talk to him either, okay? He <laughs> he. Owned. Or pwned, rather. Double six. Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house anyway. Probably using using Abacus. Talk about classic. Rafflecopter. Phew, much better. Maybe I'll go shower now. Don't worry. I won't let that old geezer get me down, Tatsuya. Last player signed off. Um, where the hell is everyone? See what's on TV on the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 18, Death of a Condor. Get your hankies ready, kids. On to today's news. Why is there an exclamation mark there? Hey, how's it going? Groovy. Yeah, you gotta be groovy to come in a place like this, huh? Let's say men who can't get groovy. Nothing up here. Is the exclamation Elizabeth? Marvelous. Sweet. I'm looking forward to. Let's see the requests. Here are my requests. No. Don't have anything yet. Never mind. Very well. Uh, 
don't know where the exclamation mark is. Uh, first floor lounge. Seriously, where is everyone? Oh, they're all up here. Mm. Looks like Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai aren't around. So let's go to Sar Tartarus some other time. I think I'll take it easy tonight, too. Hey. Koromaru's so cute. He's such a loyal dog. Why, certainly. I wish we could take Koro-chan in and look after him. Sonata-senpai could be in charge of walking him, since he goes jogging quite often anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah, I could totally see him running along a river together or something. But I kind of doubt that we'd be allowed to keep animals in the dorm. Uh, yeah, very true. <laughs> Koromaru is really one of a kind, huh? Uh-huh. Really is. Such an obedient boy, too. He always seems to be at the shrine. I wonder if he's eating okay. Oh, really? Why don't we just keep him here? I feel like Kirijo Senpai would say yes. I mean, doesn't she seem like the type to have a Doberman at home? And she might feed it the highest, qual highest quality filet mignon. Well. Junpei kun, I think you read too much manga. Speaking of which, can I read something? No. So nobody's up to doing anything today? See if there's another video to play. Seems to be a new recording. Let's watch it. So, playback was a few days ago for 1749. Looks like Junpei's room. Of course it does. This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot. And the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. But I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. <laughs> How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, well, this is how my room always looks? What? But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... <sighs> I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. <gasps> <laughs> I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? 
Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. What? 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 Oh yeah. Uh. Okay. What are we gonna do today? Guess I could check the last thing on the computer. Limited set meal today. Or I could raise my stats. You know what? Let's do that. Uh, sec four. You get Wakatsu. Full course, please. Every bite fills my mouth with flavor and my brains with omega threes. I am become the smarter. Hey, so... I've been thinking. The night before last, when we learned about the Twelve Shadows and their connection to Tartarus, isn't there just too much we don't understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there must be something about it. There's something about it that bugs me. The fact that we don't know shit? Yeah. Bugs me too. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? Oh gosh, Cartesian coordinates really are beautiful, aren't they? This one in particular is my favorite, though. Aren't you curious? You are, right? Right? Oh god. This curve is a graph of a Cartesian equation. One that was discovered by Italian math magician Maria Agnesi. It's actually named after her. Some people, some people call it the Curve of Agnesi. So, after that. However, it is more commonly known by another name. Yuri, do you have any idea what it is? What? Uh, how, how would I know? Heck, are we even talking about math anymore? Do you know the answer? What else do people call this curve? Um... Orthogonal curves, I guess. Mm, that's not, that's not right. correct. Is my question too difficult? Yeah, I was considering which of Agnesi, but yeah. As to why it's called a witch, nobody really knows. Apparently, it came from a mistranslation of the Italian word for reverse sign of a curve. Merely an inadvertent mistake, I suppose. I make careless mistakes fairly often as well, but it's pretty embarrassing when your mistakes last for generations. I mean, if a shape of a curve resembled a witch, maybe they could have gotten away with it, but alas. How are we supposed to figure that out without any hints? I gave the wrong answer. Okay. All right. Eight left, huh? Well, you can count on me, dude. I'll defeat every one of them and save the city. Good to know. Yeah. Yuki, it's still not clear to me. My head hurts from thinking about it. Yeah. Haven't saved in a while. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to call it the end of this episode. We did quite a bit. We finally finished uh, Kenji's social link. Uh, did a little bit of Maiko. She's been fairly absent for the last little while. Um, and we got new uniforms and an emotional charged clip, magazine clip. So, uh, some good stuff. Uh, and we learned a little bit more about the dorm. Opened up some more activities we can do with our group. Which is, uh, again, all new territory to me. So, uh, it's great. Because, uh, 
you, you want these guys to mingle, you know what I mean? You want them to create uh, more moments with each other, make it all the more, uh, you know, personable and relatable. But, yeah, next time, um, I think we're going to go to Tartarus. Uh, we're going to spend quite a bit of time in Tartarus, actually. Um, I'll probably be, we'll be doing, um, be clearing like the main block, probably grind a little bit for money, uh, because, uh, money is going to be coming into play quite a bit, especially with the, um, I forget his name, but like the host of the, the shopping channel, he's going to want money from us. So yeah, hope you guys are having fun and, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.